Greetings from Edinburgh 500 Open Bible. I am Isaac Brown and welcome to your midweek meditation. Rend your hearts to authentic call to transformation. In Joel 2.13 it speaks of rending our hearts and not our garments. In ancient times the tearing of clothes was a dramatic symbol of sorrow repentance or deep emotional anguish. Yet the prophet Joel, guided by the Holy Spirit, calls us to a deeper form of expression, one that moves beyond the external and penetrates the inner sanctuary of our hearts. Rending garments is an external act, visible to anyone around. It's an act that says, look, I'm grieving, look, I'm repenting. But God doesn't just look at the outward appearance. He peers into our hearts. The tearing of fabric is temporarily easily mended or replaced, but the transformation of the heart, that's permanent, that's transformative. In our modern world, we too have our garments, perhaps not literal pieces of cloth, but external masks we wear to show the world we are okay, we are pious, we are in control. We post carefully created images of our lives on social media, pretending all is well, even when our souls are in turmoil. We sit in the pews, mouthing the hymns and prayers, even as doubts or distractions cloud our inner life. Rend your hearts, says the Lord. What does it mean to rend our hearts today? It means to break open the emotional and spiritual barriers that keep us from God and from one another. It's the courage to confront our own flaws, our selfishness and our egos. It's the humility to admit that we don't have all the answers and to lean into our vulnerabilities. But let us not mistake this rending as destruction. It is rather an opening, an opening for the Holy Spirit to enter, to mend us where we are broken, to fill us where we are empty, to guide us where we are lost. Rend our hearts means making space for divine transformation. It is the surrender of willfulness and to adopt God's will. So as we journey together in faith, let us heed the call to move beyond our outward expression of pity or grief. Let us rend our hearts, tear down our false selves, and in that sacred space of vulnerability, let us meet God. For it is in the quiet chambers of a rent heart that God whispers his messages of love grace and renewal. May your hearts be open, may your spirits be willing, and may you find his divine presence in the depths of your very being. Thank you for watching. I hope this week's message bless your heart. Wishing you a great week ahead.